Hey there, it's Dr. Justin Marcajani. Today's going to be a quick video on how to do lab instructions for your body system 2 test. These are going to be your gut and infection based tests. So if you have any issues with thyroid or female hormones or male hormones or even adrenal testing, check out the body system 1 lab testing instruction video. So first things first, you always go to the members area. Once you're in the members area, the password is going to be just in health, all lowercase, no spaces. It's already saved in my browser here. Once you scroll down, you'll have all the functional medicine and nutritional resources up here, but keep on scrolling down to where you see lab test instructions. So the big test, and again, this is subject to change. So the key thing that you're going to want to look at is your protocol sheet. So for instance, let's just create one for myself. So I'll put my name on here. So on the top, we typically have all the diet and or lifestyle things we're going to look at. And again, the Justin Health eating plans in the members area. Typically, most people start off with an, either an autoimmune or a paleo or maybe an SCD or a low FODMAP or a low histamine or a GAPS or a combination of many. So just look here at what diet info. Again, there's a video of me going through all the general diet info in the Justin Health eating plan here by clicking there. And again, all of the lab info and instructions will be online in the members area. So that was the area we were just at. And then if you scroll down here below, here are the lab tests. So all the lab tests are going to be here. So you'll see if it says on hold next to it, then you would avoid doing that test. But these are a couple of tests that we typically do off the bat. So you can see body system one, body system two, body system three. So if you're not sure what body system it is, just check below. But body system one is going to be the hormones, right? So like for instance, this could be an adrenal test or it could be a female hormone test. It could be... Um, a 208 month long hormone test. Now in this category, we're looking at body system two. That's gonna be our stool testing. So here's one test we typically do. So for instance, in this situation, that would be DRG insurance. It could also be 401H. It could also be the GI map, and it could be cash or insurance. It also could be the MDL infection test. Um, again, we have about five or six tests we do for body system too. So you have to look and see what test is up there. Again, this video may be updated or I should say the lab test may change as this video stays. So just kind of make sure you look at what the body system two says in that area. And then you can go back to the members area right here and look for that test. So if, let's say here it says 401H, we can just simply go right back here and grab the 401H. The 401H, for instance, requires no instructions to be printed off and sent back with the lab kit. So typically here are all the instructions here. And as of right now, you can easily just follow all these instructions, right? It's a three-day test, fill up the correct vials, have your prepaid mailer here at the end, put everything in it. And if you have any other issues on exactly how to perform the test, you can click this link to go check out the actual test in more in depth. But three-day test, follow the instructions here, step one, step two, step three in mailing it, and then also when to be mailing the test. So important notes for shipping are right there as well. But if you go to the top on this test, we want to be avoiding probiotics, HCL, enzymes, and antimicrobial herbs like oil of oregano and berberines and artemisia and silver and clove. An anything antimicrobial uh, in nature we want to be avoiding. So no HCL, enzymes, probiotics, and antimicrobial herbs. And this is what should be in the kit. And this may change over time. So just be aware this video is just a general guide for you. How to collect is all going to be right there. And then what to do uh, before, what you shouldn't be doing before the test is also right there as well. And that's going to be for the 401H. Next we can go to is the DRG. Now with the DRG, we've been toying with insurance and cash options. Um, right now, I'll just pull up the insurance only option. So look at the bottom of your test here to see what it says. So if it says DRG insurance, right here, like so, it'll say DRG insurance. Then you know you click on the insurance link. It's that simple. Really simple. Imply, you know, Put all your insurance info on there. Uh, put your phone number, and then you want to print this out. So you're going to get a supply fee typically 
and this is in addition to the lab read fee. So just be very mindful of that. Um, if you're on any antibiotics, take a three-day break ahead of time. And again, you're going to have a prepaid FedEx mailer that comes with the kit. And you may get a bill down the road with this lab test. It's okay. You are to ignore that bill down the road. As long as you filled out the requisition form and paid the supply fee, then you're good to go. So you can see right here, it's a single day sample test. We have the various things already checked off here, done and done. And then you can see my info is already checked off. Insurance is already checked off. The various diagnoses are already checked off. You just have to put your ins insurance info and your credit card info there. And this is the specimen collection instructions. Pretty simple. Collect your stool. A really easy way to do it is saran wrap over the toilet seat. Make sure you urinate first. And then put the saran wrap over the toilet seat. Defecate on the, on the saran wrap. Really simple. Use the scoop. Scoop it in. Knock one side of the saran wrap in and the stool falls in. And then you can fold it onto itself and then fold the gloves onto that. And it's a really easy way to do a stool test very, um, very clean. And then outside of that, you are going to have the uh, prepaid shipment for FedEx as well. You'll seal the bag in the clinical pack here and send it in. Pretty simple. You just got to make sure you print out this form. If you don't print out this form right here, the lab test may get discarded and you may have to do it again and pay a separate fee. So be very mindful of that. And this is going to be very similar. So if you see DRG insurance or cash, make sure you click on the right form. Double check your handout. Uh, for instance, let's take a peek at the, let's do the GI map insurance. So we have an insurance one for GI map. And again, it's on your protocol sheet. You go back here, there's the supply fee, $179 supply fee, and that is you know separate than the lab read fee. Again, you must include the requisition form, same as before. And if you scroll down here as well, this is what's going to be in the lab kit. So it's all going to be there like so. And this gives you the collection instructions. Again, it's a one-day kit, really simple. You're going to then fill out your info right here. Again, doctor's info is already there, so you're good to go. Put your insurance, put your payment info, and you're going to mail this in, credit card info, and mail this in with the lab kit and you should be good to go. Any other questions on top of that, you can feel free and call the lab directly here. And with the DRG, there's also a number to call the lab on the front page as well. Same thing here if we're doing the GI map cache. There should be a separate part here at the bottom for the GI map cache as well. Very, very similar situation. The only difference on this test is if you scroll down, If you scroll down here, you're going to see instead of insurance checked off, it says bill clinician. That's the only difference. So you're good. You don't have to fill out any of the insurance information or any of the credit card information when um, you already paid cash for the test. Just your patient info, and that's it. And let's just go over the MDL test. This is a test for infections, and this test can be found right here as well. This is the Medical Diagnostic Laboratories Infection Form. All right, so really simple. All of the info is right up here, All right? Pretty simple. You're going to get a blood draw. You'll go to a local lab. Typically, Quest is able to draw the blood for you. They may charge your insurance, and they may charge you a small fee, but typically Quest Labs is a good one or any local phlebotomist or a local hospital that would do the draw for you. Typically, LabCorp won't, but Quest or a local phlebotomist or hospital is a good starting place. Again, this tells you what you should get. Styrofoam kits, three brown rectangular lab kits for PCR and ELISA. Uh, what you need to do, you're going to make sure you freeze the ice pack. So then when you are ready to send out the blood, everything's ready to go. You're going to have the vials already filled up. And you're going to make sure right after the blood draw is completed, you're going to mail it right away because you have to get there within two days to make sure that um, everything is everything does not get um, go bad or expire, so to speak. And then what you need to do next, typically we'll get the results within one to two weeks, just so you know. And again, here's the rec form. It's already filled out for you. It's right here down below. All the check marks are already there. 
that we need to look at from an infection standpoint. And if you go up just a bit, you are going to see your info needs to go right in here. Billing info needs to go right here. And your patient information has to go right there as well. But that should be all filled out for you and ready to go. And that's at the back button so far. We uh, reviewed the 4018, we have reviewed the DRG, we reviewed the GI map cash and insurance, and we reviewed the 401H and the MDL. So all the stool tests that we typically do are reviewed. Uh, one last test would be the breath test. I'll review that here briefly. And this is a test that we'll do to analyze SIBO. And this test, again, pretty straightforward. You're going to there's the package return shipping info right there. It's a three-hour breath test. Very simple. Baseline, you're going to, before drinking the solution, follow the instructions. You're going to drink the lactulo solution and wait 20 minutes. Number two is going to be 20 minutes after, 40 minutes, 60 minutes. So make sure you get a baseline before drinking the solution. Follow all of the instructions um, regarding how to collect the samples. Hold the easy sampler, exhale only once in the easy sampler device, only one exhale. During exhalation, insert the collection tube into the easy sampler, remove the collection tube after one or two seconds, fill out the patient information, label and affix it to the tube, and then step one through five every 20 minutes until all your tubes are finished. So make sure you have that there 100%. And if you have any issues at all, you can click here. You can scan this or you can click down here to biohealthlabs.com slash patients and you can get more instructions on how to do the test. Pretty simple. You can also call BioHealth right down there at their toll-free number. But we're collecting it for three hours. Follow the steps one through six, the three-hour test, and then send it in with the I think it's a US or UPS prepaid mailer. All right, outside of that, going back to the members area, all of your lab test instructions are going to be here for you. So feel free and check that out. Outside of that, call the lab specifically regarding each test. Review back for this video for more information. And outside of that, get your test done so you can follow up with myself at your follow-up appointment and we can create a program based on your lab test to help you start getting better and get to the root cause. Thanks. This is Dr. J signing off. Take care.